a moment of silence for your boy, the Black Panther. My man's died of cancer. I didn't even know that dude was sick. Apparently, he just kept that shit to himself, which is respectable. Uh, I guess he just didn't want to deal with those shitty conversations with every fucking interviewer ever going, well, how's he concentrating going? How are you feeling? He said, fuck it, bro. I'd rather die than fucking listen to this bullshit. So, R.I.P., bro. Rest in peace. But, uh, as you can see, we're on the Dokkan Festival. Let me just say, the fact that they replaced the Dokkan Festival with from the Red Text to Gold Text, um, I see that. I see that, Bandai. I appreciate it. Um, first of all, let me just say, real quickly, these banners are very cool. I like them a lot. Because they actually have decent, like, you know how, like, um, you know, KO Ken Goku and STR Frieza, how they're, like, you know, not the, the main event cards, but they're still very good cards. That's what it seems to be with these guys, because power of absorption can already be plus 120%. Because supreme damage with a high chance of stunning the enemy, that's pretty good. It recovers 15% HP at the start of the turn. Key plus 3 attack and defense plus 150%. Power absorption category, allies attack plus 30%, defense plus 50%. Medium chance of evading enemies attack, including super attack. That's pretty damn good, so he's basically a very like defensive based unit for his boys. No introduction needed here, no introduction needed here. I would love to get a dupe of this guy. Fucking, You know what? I gotta say, for all the time that has passed, I have to say the third year anniversary units are probably the most, like, old... They're probably the oldest anniversary units that you, like, you have to run in a rotation. The first year, second year, I mean, time has not treated them that well, but them motherfuckers... Got you. This banner, by the way, sexy. First of all, you, you already you already see what, what I see. You already see what I see. Um, let me see. Um, <laughs> I am Mr. Goku. I am Mr. Vegeta. It's sexy card art, bro. Can I? Oh, details. That is some sexy fucking card art. That is some straight up sexy card art. Um, so let's see. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so, Battle of Wits or Majin Buu side category. Key plus 3 HP, plus 130%, attack and defense, plus 170%. Battle of Wits, so that's like a new category. Battle of Wits, hmm. Battle of Wits, I guess it's like, Vegeta gotta be in this motherfucker. That nigga is the fucking prodigy when it comes to warfare, bro. You ain't, you ain't gonna tell me Vegeta ain't in this bitch. Um, Vegeta, not in here. Wait, what? Battle of Wits? Okay, he's in there. That Vegeta's in there. Um, what about SS4, Vegeta? Wait, what? Battle of Wits. It must be some, like, super specific fucking like like some super specific uh context because when i'm thinking when i think of battle of wits i'm thinking like you know super tactician of battle motherfuckers are things okay all right and i want to actually see what what's up with this tn because this nigga looking handsome right here boy mm -mm -mm -mm. people still attacking defense plus 100 percent push him to the depot mm -mm 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 -mm. Majin Buu Saga category. Oh, okay. So, again, he's like a, a nice support for Majin Buu Saga. Okay. And, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I never pulled this, man. I'm interested in pulling this Goku. That's very, very, very sexy. Um, And then this guy would actually not be that. These beaters are pretty good. And then I never got this guy. So, here's the risk I run, run doing this banner. I risk getting a dupe uh, 5 Vegito that I do not need, or a dupe Int Vegito, the LR, which I don't need. On this banner, on the other hand, I'm going to be honest, it looks a little less attractive, just because of the you know main LR. This man's one away from uh, Rainbow, only got one of you, none of you, one of you, one of you, Rainbow almost, Rainbow almost. So, seems like a mixed bag, seems like uh, this could go one or two ways, but... Uh, Let's go ahead, let's summon. 
And more than likely, I'm probably going to see a bunch of five Vegitos pop up in my face, and he's just going to start shitting all over me. Oh, okay. Alright, I see you, Trunks. My boy pulling out that fucking smooth camera with shit. Pulling up with his girl. Yeah, I'm just, uh, carrying my wife, uh... Okay, alright. Okay. Alright, I appreciate that. I don't I still don't know what the fuck those animations mean, but I appreciate it. Alright, we got, uh, Cheeks Videl. Gay Power Ranger. Mr. Shugesh. Fucking... This dude legit has the head of a fucking hammerhead shark. A hammerhead shark, but you know how like the hammerhead has like the two hammers on each side? Cut them off and that's what that is. Um hmm. Who the fuck was that? Is that the one where he dokons into SSJ? Ooh. Yo. First LR Bardock. Now this Bardock, I'm blessed, bro. I'm blessed. And this is the Tech Roshi. Not bad. Not bad, man. Yo, already, already we getting blessed. Uh, God damn, just know when Thursday rolls around, I'm going to be out in that motherfucker farming Bardocks like a motherfucker. And then this is, yeah, this is uh, this guy. All right. Pretty, pretty damn good for a multi, I'd say. Sets the stage for, at least if the game wants to go into, like, a weird... You know, hypnosis with just giving me dupes. At least it's that revenge guy, right? I, I never got him before. I love how I go, that revenge guy. Yeah, Goku's dad. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's known as the revenge guy. He, he's pretty cool. That category is pretty cool. I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very grateful. Um, oh, okay. STR Vegeta. I was like, I, was like, what? I'm, like, I haven't seen that Vegeta in such a long time. I'm like, who the fuck is that? Yeah, it's me, Vegeta. I'm a nice guy, really, when you think about it. Alright, we got Metrosexual 17. Nothing wrong with that if you want to live that lifestyle and go to hell. Ooh, is this tech or five? Please, God. Ah, oh, man. I didn't even know this tech one, like... He has shittering the limit, right? I'm about to find out. Yeah. He don't even have shattering the limit. He just has... Wait, what? Um, what Dokons him? What Dokons this guy? Okay, that Dokons him. And then what is this? Oh, from the event. Right? Wow. That's weird how that, like, that usually every character in the game either has Fierce Battle or Shattering the Limit. I don't really like Shattering the Limit. Ooh, hold up. Shut the fuck up. Piccolo? And go on. Hold up. One second. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I'm pretty sure I fucked that up. But at the end of the day, I watched the fucking Republican National Convention and I can't help but say I, I support my nation. Uh, I believe that Donald Trump is the only person who is capable of of you know fixing a nation that is so broken because he broke it and it'll be great that's one of the craziest things like whether you support donald trump or not oh shit i was like what the fuck i was like i was looking at the vegeta going like oh shit all right i like that uh-huh i like that game i see you game you fucking going into fucking genjutsu oh nice dude no bullshit i'm actually happy i got a dupe of this guy i've been wanting a dupe of him but I never fucking, I never get a dupe ever. I know a lot of people are like salty that he's on every banner ever. But I've been dying for a fucking dupe of this guy. Alright, yo, what did I tell you? Whatever character pop, we gonna rainbow this guy. I, I don't mind, I'll take this rainbow within the next one or two banners. Uh, one or two summons, I'm probably gonna get another with Bardock. I have no problem with that. If the game is in fucking Genjutsu where it keeps giving me that Bardock, go ahead, you fucking idiots, Bandai. You fucked up this time. Um, yeah, like I was saying, whether you love Donald Trump or not, of course I love him. He's, you know, the hot emperor, but if for some reason you're stupid and you don't love him, it's weird how, like, like Donald Trump basically shits over Joe Biden and being, and he's like, listen, if Joe Biden is president, this is what America is going to be, and then it shows what America is right now, and it's like, nigga, like, like, America's fucked point blank, period, like, what, like, 
like your president right now like what are you doing right now to fix anything I mean he's trying you know what I mean he, he's doing the best he can do but just the fact of the matter being that so many people are salty right now and the media in general that that's the one thing that all right, me and my son riding solo me and my boy Gohan okay all right. Hopefully I get a screen crack, otherwise I'm going to be suicidal. Okay, thank you. Um, but, uh, yeah, like I was saying, um, in terms of Mr. Donald Pump, Donald Trump, the God himself, um, he, uh, he uh, can only do so much, because uh, right now the lamestream media, a.k.a. The, the lying liberal bias media, a.k.a. the, I guess, conservative lying media, too, because... Donald Trump doesn't like Fox News either. He hates everyone equally. Um, but I know looking at the news, you, you you get sucked the fuck in, bro. Like, if people watch the news, whether it be Fox News or CNN, and if you believe everything they say, and you don't think for yourself, you really be like, all right, there's going to be another civil war in America. <laughs> like, like, you legit would think that, and you legit would, like, get sucked into that shit. Hey, there we go, Vegito. I like that. Um, ooh, was that a long command man with Vegito? I can't tell. I don't, I don't time his command mans. But, um, like, for example, with CNN, like, they refused to report any, like, that. like, here's an example, right? It's unfortunate. It is unfortunate, but there are certain politicized events that certain people won't talk about if it goes against what they basically believe in and what they support. So, for example, one thing that they talked at the Republican National Convention was the officer who was murdered, uh, Officer Dorn. And at the time of that happening, CNN didn't say much of anything, like, for, like, a good week and a half. They're like, ah, you know, you know, it's peaceful protest. There might be some bad things. What did I tell you? Yo, I'm telling you, this game, if you ever summon in this game, like, I'm going to tell you something right now. If that first multi, if I got LR Vegito, right, and if I continued to summon, I would keep getting LR Vegito. Like, I'm not joking, dude. The fucking game does this. Like, this is literally, like, wh whoever whoever is using their fucking probability fucking library, go, go import a new one, bro. That shit is fucking, it's buggy. It's bugs. I'll probably do, like, one more multi if I get another fucking bar off for the millionth time. I might take a break, but we'll see. Um, but, uh... Yeah, in terms of, like, CNN, I know they didn't really, like, talk about that. And they're like, well, you know, what are you going to do? Fucking, you know, now they're talking about it because at the Republican National Convention, they're like, CNN and the fake news don't want to talk about Officer Dorn because it goes against the fucking peaceful protest narrative, blah, blah, blah. Fuck you. I'm better than the Democrats and I'm better than the media. And the media has to come back and be like, no, actually, we're the fourth estate. And we're really great. And we're good. And I'm just watching the whole time, just like, ooh, my boy Tien, all right. Handsome guy. Free SA, by the way. I like that. Angel Cell. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I forgot that motherfucker existed. To keep it a buck with you. To keep it a buck. And this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a single. And then I'm going to go do that free one. Because this single right here is going to give me, like, a, a magical uh, character. Ooh. Oh my. Alright, no fusion on that one, but what are you gonna do? I actually kind of regret that now because the whole point of me doing this single is that I thought I would get like a shitty animation. But I guess, you know, if I got a good animation there, I'll get another good animation now, right? I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Because that was the whole point. Alright, TN and Fat Ass. Okay, a bit of a. Bit of an odd combination. Would have liked to see it, have seen that for the single, but it's all right. Um, but yeah, so CNN didn't really talk about it. It was one of those things where they're like, oh shit, we can't fucking talk about this because it might delegitimize any type of protesting. And then uh, same thing with like Fox News, dude. Fox News, like recently, there's some 17 year old kid who went from Illinois to Wisconsin to basically go protect property. Go, you know, fucking flex with a gun, blah, 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 etc., etc. And he ended up killing two people. And the two people that he killed, 
Um, it, I guess, it, you know, it, it could be deemed a self-defense, but, you know, just the fact that he was there with a gun and just the fact that he was kind of like an outside, you know, really, he was literally an outside-of-state agitator where he came and, you know, was fighting with people, arguing with people, etc., etc. And it basically turned out that, you know, at the end, uh, you know, depending on his lawyer, how good or bad he is, that he could make some argument that he's retarded, that he feared for his life, that he had to defend himself. He was getting attacked. It's not like he was just, you know, walking by and decided to start shooting people. Um, but uh, in terms of the news coverage, like on Fox News, like Fox News tried to make it sound like this motherfucker was like basically an extension of law enforcement. He's like, and he was like, uh, you know, um, for um, for uh, uh, the fact that these Democrat-run cities. They basically will not let you, uh, as a police officer, actually operate and do what you're supposed to do and do what you want to do. Thus, then, you have these people that come out of state, these other individuals, that have to then, you know, basically uh, enforce the law. And it's like, dude, come on. Like, if you want to say he was there with good intentions, if you want to say that, you know, things went south in a, in a really shitty way, fair enough. But just the fact that they're trying to make him, like, a political hero in terms of, like, oh, I've had enough. I'm sick of fucking all these protesting. I'm going to go shoot two people. It's like, why why are you propping that up and being like, yeah, this is great. We should really fucking make people who want to go to a protest with guns, you know, actually go now, shoot, and do whatever the fuck they want. And then at the same time, after that, praise them and say, like, oh, you know, I'm a fucking freedom fighter. I'm not a fucking murderer. And, you know, he's a 17-year-old kid. Fair enough. He might be a fucking retard. But he literally murdered two people. He shot someone in the head, and then he shot another person in the heart. And he blew some other guy's arm off. And by the way, what I love is from that whole uh, encounter, if you watch it on YouTube, um, the person that he shot in the arm and did not die was the only person that had a firearm pointed at him, which was, like, I, I don't, I honestly don't know, like, what the other guy was thinking. Like, there was some other guy there who was, like, um, uh, going full retard, where he walked up to him with a pistol, and I guess he was gonna shoot, but hesitated. I honestly do not know. Um, oh, man, no one came out. I honestly do not know, but, um, it was just weird, because it's, like, he's pointing a gun at him, he has a rifle in his hand, and at any moment he could shoot you, and he did end up shooting him. Um, ended up being <clears throat> not a lethal shot, but at the end of the day, you know, why would you want to get shot? Why would you risk that? And it's really weird, too, because the people in that video, if you watch the video, it's very odd, like, how, like, nonchalant they were, and how they're, like, just, like, this guy had a gun. He had a fucking assault rifle, and they were just running up to him, throwing stuff at him. Running up to him, trying to attack him, running up, trying to, like, push him over. And one guy ended up hitting him in the head with a... I think I have some dragon stones. I'm gonna... I'm gonna do one more round. How many? Three. I'll do one more round. I'm pretty sure I got... I'm pretty sure I got some dragon stones to spare. Come on, now. Come on, now. Ooh, Jesus Christ. And I got some more? No, I don't have some more. Well, whatever. I'm gonna do one more round, irregardless. Um, I have a feeling I'm going to get another Bardock, which is fine. Like I said, I already told you, I'll take the Rainbow Bardock. Appreciate it, Bandai. But, um, yeah, so in terms of news coverage, depending on what channel you watch this shit, you're going to get two different stories. Uh, and unfortunately, you can't just trust these news stories or trust these people's opinions because at the end of the day, you know, they end up being pundits, they end up being puppets of whatever the fuck... The George Soros directive. Um, and, and in general, they're not as trustworthy as people would like to think. They're not Walter uh, Cronkite that are this, that are literally there just to report the news. Um, although, to be completely honest, you know, in terms of, like, opinionated news and news that is uh, more opinion and less news, that sells. Like, people like that a lot. Like, liberal people watch CNN conservative people watch Fox News, and then in terms of, like, news that is literally just news, uh, like C-SPAN, for example, they just get no fucking ratings and no one cares, like, literally, no one could give a fuck, 
about C-SPAN. They're just like, oh, whatever, dude. Like, you know, I guess I guess they do congressional hearings on there and shit. I don't know. Um, so you really have to look at people because you could blame the quote-unquote mainstream media and be like, oh, my God, they're fucking scumbags. They're doing this. They're doing that. Look at what people are watching, though. Like, no one cares about actual news. No one watches BBC. No one watches C-SPAN. They go to the same fucking well to bring out the same fucking opinions, the same fucking bullshit. Hey, it's your boy, Mr. I Will Never Get a Doke on Awakening. Um, same bullshit, etc., etc. And this time, let's see, I'm going I'm to do a single summon. And this time, this is going to work out the way I think it should work out, definitely. 100%. Okay, Krillin, Boo. And then who else? Uh, Whis, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Um, hmm. Mm, oh, fuck, let's do this. Let's take this some try to get a shitty fucking sam summon animation going here. There we go. Just Chiao Tzu. In an alternate universe where Tien kills himself, Chiao Tzu comes to my fucking aid. Appreciate it, Chiao Tzu. Um, although your jihad technique is pretty much the strongest technique you have, but whatever, I'm not going to judge you. Alright, Mr. Kai. But, uh, in general, the point I was trying to make is that as much as you may hate the quote-unquote mainstream media and their lies and their political leanings and da-da-da. Ooh, Chiao Tzu and Tian. That is looking sexy, man. Chiao Tzu and Tian, please don't let me down, my friend. Yo, I'm a fan. Um, but uh, ooh, double stream crack. I like that. Um, anyway, like I was saying, in terms of the uh different opinions, politicized. I knew it. I fucking I felt it in my balls. Cause I was thinking to myself, I didn't get a rainbow, so more than likely I probably will get uh in Vegito. Which you know, I I cannot I I cannot complain. It is a very good card. Unfortunately, I have a rainbow. That's how good he is. Whoa, you cocksucker. This motherfucker really gave me false up. False positive. False positive. Go ahead and tell me false positive. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and single summon right here. Or actually not single summon, we'll do multi summon then. I could probably scrounge up another 10 dragon stones and do another 3, but... Uh oh, hold up. Give it to me. Give it to me, baby. Uh-huh, uh-huh. And all the Vegito said, I'm pretty cool for a white guy. More than likely, this is going to be another Bardock, which I have no problem with. It's fine. Um, oh, a thousand. Is he featured? I'd be kind of happy if he wasn't featured. That way, it, like, guarantees another SSR. But um, in terms of, like, the media, it's just the point that no one... Like, people like that. Like, as much as people go, like, oh, I hate the mainstream media. Oh, I hate the fact that Fox News is fucking conservative. I hate the fact that CNN is so liberal. Well, what the fuck do people watch? They watch that shit. Thus then, that's what the fuck you end up seeing. Thus then, that's what's fucking popular. Thus then, thus then. What do you expect, my friend? So, as you can see, I got five Vegito. And I got Super Saiyan Goku. Eh, not bad. I, I definitely think I've gotten a lot from this banner. I'm very, very thankful that I do indeed, indeedably. There's actually a lot of LRs now that I think about it. Even though I did get this Vegito, you could get Goku, you could get Cell, you could get Mr. Omega Vegito. I don't know what his rates are, but Lord knows I'm, I'm going to get shafted just like SSB Vegito. But um, in terms of the characters, at least for me personally, this banner seems like a better banner than the other one. Uh, I think I'm going to save my stones from here on out. I mean, I'll probably, what is this, how many days is left? 400 days. Let's go ahead, 25, 4. So i got like two weeks left. Do some events, grind some shit, come back, do some more summons. Until then, until then, as a matter of fact, here we go. I'll leave you with this last one, just to let you know that I'm going to come back and do the other two. Let you know that in good faith, I'm not just abandoning this shit. Alright, all right, so we have Trunks, uh, Krillin, Whis, and some other asshole. And this really is in good faith, because, you know, this is not going to be anything good. This is just simply me being a nice guy, you know. A very nice, 
individual to give you one more summon. Alright, Mr. SR Goku. Pui, aka the most powerful fucking person on a ship to your planet. Very bullish. Very bullish character. Okay, Zarbon. Or actually, that's not, that's, not, that's not Zarbon, but I thought it was. And who's it gonna be? Damn, I'm getting a lot of these Vegetas. Alright, you know what I just realized? The game stopped giving me revenge badass Bardocks, and it's starting to give me these Vegetas, and at this point he probably is rainbowed. So let's go ahead, let's take a step back. When the game fucks you like this, take a break, relax, go ahead and get your credit card information so you can buy more Dragon Stones and take a deep breath, inhale, enter your information while you're at it, buy a couple V-Bucks, and that is that. But so far, Anniversary is looking pretty damn good just because of the fact that I think I got three revenge category mongoloids, right? Let's see, training, um, extremely amazing super AGO. And put it to SSR. Yeah, so I have one, two, is there a third? I thought I got a third. Mm hmm. One, two, three. And then I also have one, two, three Goku's. Alright, not bad, not bad. Again, you gotta take what you can get in the game, bro. And sometimes the game does that. And I'll, I'll be honest. Uh, when I saw whatever whatever the first one is, that's usually what the game is gonna start, you know, leaning towards. Uh, so I'll, I'll come back later. We'll see what happens in terms of luck, strategy, and uh, uh, credit card debt. But, you know, for example, I made the decision to close on a house, which is probably the dumbest thing ever. I should just be investing all my money in Dragon Stones. As the U.S. currency depreciates and its stocks go down, Dragon Stones will only go up. So really, it's literally the gold standard. But um, that's about it. Shit is legit. Hopefully, at the end of the day, I will get Vegito, or at the very least, I'll get to play with him with a friend.